And Rob, those quads are eight years old now, happy and energetic kids. We met their parents here as they awaited their baby's arrivals. Now their father will raise them alone, he tells me, with the help of faith. Inside a hospital room, a young couple awaits a late Christmas gift. Four gifts to be exact. Our two little boys down here, our little girls up here, and our other little boys over here. Aaron and Tina Moore were finally getting the family they prayed for. I know who's moving when, and it's really funny because when one of them moves, the wakes the other ones up and they all start moving, so there's little parties in there all the time. Then just days into the new year, their four babies arrived, all weighing about two pounds, tiny but healthy. The Moore family was whole. Practice holding little babies. <laughs> it'll be hard, but we each have two arms, so that'll work. Yeah. We, each, we each can hold two, so it'll be perfect. But now Aaron Moore is a single parent. His wife, his best friend, suddenly passed away. On the phone, Aaron says Tina put everything she had into being a great mother. She taught me how to be a good father. She had an amazing faith, and I know she's up in heaven watching over us. That brings me a lot of peace. He also says his children, now eight years old, have shown amazing strength. He believes a testament to Tina's faith. He says Tina was an amazing person who always gave of herself and during their 14 years of marriage gave him the family they always wanted. Now the family hopes an autopsy will tell them why Tina passed away. Everyone, though, is invited to a prayer service tomorrow at 630 at Wildwood Christian Church near 82nd and Giles Streets. Her funeral will be Tuesday, Valentine's Day at 11 a.m. Guys, back to you.